Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Evil Fiend 803 coming at you with a, another awesome video. Just came back from vacation. I did one of those stay-at-home vacations. Ladies, hello! How are you today? Definitely much needed. Uh, so I didn't do jack shit uh, for videos or anything like that. I took that moment to kind of decompress a little bit from reality. Felt good. Felt good. During that vacation time, I did get a couple of packages, did get a couple of sticker letters uh, in the mail, and there was actually something I did go out for a hunt, and I would love to be able to show those off with y'all. But first, I do got a couple of announcements I'd like to make. Well, obviously... I still have... Well, this is actually my last one, and I still have a pretty good bit of the old Funko Hunter 803 stickers that I still have available. This is exactly <laughs> the amount of the stickers I have for this one. I do have a few of the Funko Hunter 803 pins that's still available. I only have two of the ones that still glow in the dark and I just have the regular common that's a non-glow. If you'd like to sticker swap with me, if you'd like to be able to pin swap, just hit me up in my DMs. We can be able to try to see if we can work something out. Yo, you wanna buy some toothbrushes, man? This is some real fly personal hygiene equipment I got here, man. And I got a hell of a hair dryer over here too, check it out. Second thing I'd like to announce is that I am actually collaborating with two individuals on doing a awesome epic giveaway that's going to be uh, coming up hopefully around mid-August right when summer's about to end and when we all, all have to go get ready for school and get the kitties back to school. I got my lunch packed up, my boots tied tight. I hope I don't get in a fight. Kind of something that we would love to be able to give to that one lucky person that has to go back to school. Now you're all in big, big trouble. Now let's go ahead and get into this video for some of these packages. Well, we're waiting. First ones that I'll actually do will be some sticker letters. I actually have a sticker letter from Chip3 underscore Pops. Uh, he is a awesome, awesome, awesome collector. I've uh, been fucking around with me for quite some time on my channel. Uh, so he actually hooked me up with one of his stickers, which is pretty dope. I like it. Chip, appreciate the hookup, brother. Greatly appreciate it. We got another letter and another nice care package from my DSCK brother, uh, KingPop413. Uh, actually sent me a nice little thank you letter and of course that says it all right there baby DSCK all day down south collectors crew he actually hooked me up with some of his stickers uh, which we have like the supreme holographic one that's pretty dope this is probably one of my favorites just because he's also an old school wrestling fan. I am an old school wrestling fan. I am always down for the NWO. And he actually did this one right here. That is very dope. I like it. We also have one uh, with him actually with the championship belt uh, from WWE. That is pretty dope as well. So his next sticker that he actually hooked me up with was a In Your House old school theme. Uh, a lot of people don't know what In Your House is. It's a old school WWF pay-per-view. NXT just recently did a In Your House uh, type of segment uh, this past year. Uh, I think it was like one of their pay-per-views or one of the NXT live events or something like that for TV. I have no idea. Uh, but we actually have the sticker with that type of theme that he did for the In Your House, which is pretty dope. Uh, King Pop 413. Uh, he is actually a founding member of the PEC, which PEC is Prom Elite Collectors. Uh, so he is the godfather of starting up this uh, group as well for some great collectors. Pretty dope sticker for that one. And then the last one, 
don't even can't remember this type of theme, but this is actually pretty cool because uh, I'm a big dope person on neon yellow and purple, as a lot of everybody knows. Uh, so we got the King Pop 413 uh, sticker with that one. So greatly appreciated for Chip and for King Pops. As y'all can see right behind me, the wall of stickers got destroyed during the move that I did. I could not be able to save all the stickers. As you can tell in the background, I've actually started getting a lot of stickers that I did save up, uh, that a lot of people gave me two and threes of, and I'm actually converting those into canvas arts. And also, planning on doing like stickers and pens to kind of create like a little nice little canvas pieces that you can actually see right behind me. Uh, so this is actually pretty dope for an idea that I'm actually doing. So all these stickers will eventually be on a canvas, uh, so which is pretty dope. I like that idea. Uh, it's something that I haven't really seen a lot of people do. Uh, so why not? Now let's get to unboxing some pops, shall we? It's about damn time. You see the look on my face. And I'm very disappointed with this, but this is... After I spoke with uh, Pop in the Box about this situation, I won't go into full detail of what went down, uh, but just know that it was a headache uh, to be able to get this uh, Pop. And I finally received it a couple of days ago. It came in damaged, and they're actually going to be sending me a replacement one. Uh, but for the one that I actually got was the Poison Captain America uh, Pop in the Box exclusive. The shipping box came in crazy, and I know a lot of people will say, like, man, I'm tripping or whatever being there, but you can see, like, a nice little crease right there where it's been bent, uh, crushed a little bit right there. Um, yeah, I know y'all want to say it's just a toy. It's just a box. Why I've raised up so much hell? I pay my hard-earned money for these toys. I mean, I, that's what I do, and I would like for them to be in prestige condition, love them to be able to have sorters or bubble wrap to actually protect them because the sorters they ship them out is not that bad but as you can tell Ace got a hold to this one before it got to the house yeah if they could just be able to put some bubble wrap and side of the pop to add somewhat better protection or maybe use thicker boxes um that will save a lot of headache um and i wish pop in a box has been notorious about this but for me i've always been good of contacting them and then again i have been getting to run around with them a little bit on some situations but they actually helped me out on this situation so you actually might see this as a giveaway to a lucky person that doesn't mind a little bit of box damage. Uh, so pay attention. This might be in the giveaway that I was talking about earlier in the video. So pay attention. He might go home to you. He might just do it. Now to the next package that I got. I actually got a deal off of Macari. This is actually the pop of the box uh, shipment box I put in this one but I had to take a look at this to make sure it was that came in great condition and boy did this baby come in mint we actually have the predator box error slash first wave of this Funko Pop a lot of people will notice that I've had this wave and I have this exact same chase but it says the predator or a different name off of it. I can't think off of the top of my head right now because I still have those boxed up. But this is actually an error pop. This was not supposed to have been the actual name on this pop. And you can actually tell on the very back of it, you have the Super Predator, and everybody knows it was Predator Hound. And on the original box, it has Predator Dog. And as you can tell for over here, it's got Predator. So they actually have this pop as a chase variant as well and since i'm a sucker of trying to get error boxes error pops those kind of things like that i would love to be able to get this chase as well as far as super predator and if for some reason if predator dog is actually out there be able to try to see if i can cop that one too this is a pretty dope pop i love the movie i'm a big predator fan just overall in general 
Uh, so this was actually a pretty good find from Macari. Very cool deal that I got set up with that. So for the seller, thank you so much. It came in A1 shipping. Now to the last thing that we are going to show off is actually something that I was able to cop today at my local Hot Topic. Uh, so big shout out to Hot Topic over at the Rock Hill Galleria Mall over in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Y'all are the bee's knees. Y'all hipped your boy out. I saw the post that happened on uh, earlier this morning on some new pops that got released out. And Lord and behold, did I have to go ahead and cop this baby right here. Huge MTV fan as everybody got to see before in the past in some of my posts and for some of my unboxings. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Moo Man. Moo Man has been the MTV Music Awards going back to the old school 90s uh, MTV era with Beavis and Butthead and Daria. TRL when TRL was actually good. <laughs> Had to get to Moo Man. This is a very cool pop. Rainbow themeish. Uh, I like how they did it with like the static, uh, like the old school static. You know, whenever uh, you watch TV at two or two or three o'clock in the morning, and they close the broadcast, and you get that, and they have the screen that kind of looks like that. How they kind of incorporated that in the pop. Uh, so that's pretty dope. Love it. I'm interested to see if they are going to do any more of the Moon Man person. Um, we have a gold one, which was a Funko Hollywood exclusive. Uh, we have the classic iconic one that was all silver. And now we have this one. Uh, so I'm definitely intrigued to see if this may be the last of the MTV Moon Person or if we might see more. Uh, only time can tell. So that's going to wrap everything up, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome packages, a nice haul that we actually got to be able to do. Uh, during and after uh, vacay, uh, so that's pretty dope. Getting everything back in the swing of things. Uh, just actually started a new job, uh, which is going to take a little bit of stress off of your boy and be able to have a little bit more time to do some photography work and also be able to do some videos more like this. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Make sure that you like, comment, you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that like button on IG since this will be on IGTV. Make sure to tell this to all of your friends, reshare it, and as always, be humble or you will stumble.